Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you are watching VR Gamer Dude and today, well, it's time to get scared in VR all over again. So, you know, I remember playing the original Dead Secret and I think it was back on my Gear VR, my Go, and it absolutely scared the crap out of me. So I cannot wait to see what Robot Invader has been up to over all these years. Now, you guys know I normally don't like VR horror games. I, I I find a lot of them just cheap with cheap jump scares. But one thing that really caught my eye here was when I was reading the summary, it said it's a slow burn psychological horror where nothing is as it seems. So really hoping this breaks the uh, the chain of uh, cheesy VR horror games where, you know, it's just a bunch of stuff jumping out at you. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Oh. Oh, words. Okay. Chicago, early 70s. I can groove with that. Uh, oh, I'm already getting that creepy feeling. So, okay, click on the handle to interact. So, click. Now, that that's interesting because I've got a I've got a pair of hands here. I I don't know why I shouldn't just be able to reach out and I I guess that does open the doors, but it doesn't allow me to actually physically do the motion. So, hello. Uh -oh, hello. Um, hey, hey, whoa, hello, um, just, just a second, I gotta finish my thought here. So, I'm just saying, developers, you know, it's 2023, just any, any type of, of hand interaction in your games, it really amps up the, the, the presence and the immersion, so, and just saying. Alright, anyway, I'll play. I'll shut up and blah, 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 less, so... Oh, man, I've got goosebumps. I'm already, hello. like, freaked out. Hello? Hey, h hello? Hello. Yes, hey, hello. Yes, can you hear me? Um, I'm... Oy. Oh, hey, um, your, your pipes just bust. Um, you guys probably should call a plumber. That's gonna run your bill up. Just saying. Okay. Right, so it looks like everything's locked this way and that's man another thing i love in vr especially you know obviously the the genre it, that's going to use it the most is vr horror but the, the flashlight anytime you got a flashlight in a vr game that is an is instant has a presence enhancer yeah i'm up here um I, i'm an anybody oh oh somebody's crying something something something's bad about that oh my god what hey l run oh jesus christ i used to worry about nightmares in my sleep i'm worried now about I'm the heart attack i just way. almost had five years ago josie herrera was altered by an experimental machine the lunar dream apparatus oh the lda I yeah i yeah. open the okay. mind at every full moon letting the unconscious flow in. Oh, no. The only other person to meet the machine before Josie destroyed it was me. Now my waking hours are haunted by dreams, showing me things I don't want to see. Oh, over, man, that would suck. Over, round and round. This nightmare is endless, like a circle. Great. But cycles can be broken. Yeah, they can. Great positive attitude there. I love that. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Um, did somebody just, like, knock and run? Uh, oh. Oh, gave me a picker. Uh, all right. Let's get a photo of an apartment building here. And all right, so we need to put that on the board. So let's find the board here. Now, you know, I'm, I'm going to get all my little bitchies and my critiques out of the way here right in the beginning, um, and then we'll just play the game. But another thing is I looked in the in the settings, and there's no way to turn off the snap turning. So developers and, and the, the vignette, I, I implore you, comfort options are great, but they should be options. 
Um, just stop forcing this stuff on players. If, if there is a way to turn it off, I couldn't find it, but you know, please consider adding smooth locomotion in a patch and full smooth locomotion and the ability to turn the vignette off. So just saying. All right. Now, what this is reminding me of, though, because I can't fully interact with things with my hands and I'm getting the cursor, is this is really reminding me of old school point and click adventure games like back from the 90s, like the Tex Murphy stuff. And man, did I love those games. So, all right, let's explore. Okay, now there will be a lot of re reading stuff here. I am just going to fly through that for the purposes of time in this video. Uh, but if you play this game, prepare to do a lot of reading. Um, there we go. And we just got to collect all these files. Yeah, read, read, words, read. The Laughing Man. A cactus sculpture. Sweet. Some books. Newspaper. Okay. So, what do we got here? Oh, bathroom. Yeah, a little bit of a dirty bathroom. So, um, hey lady, you should probably like spend at least like one day a week cleaning your apartment. I'm just saying, you got some like grime coming up in the sink and your mirror's kind of all cloudy here. You got just a dirty towel sitting here on the floor. I'm just saying. And developers, the last thing I'm just going to say, where's the IK? I, I should be able to see myself move in this mirror. I, that's, that's one of the things I got to tell you I love in VR games is when you can see yourself move around in mirrors. It's another cheap presence enhancer so anyway um just food for thought i mean i did remember playing dead secret on the uh, older systems in three dof so you know this is still a huge improvement over that uh, but it does seem like some of that three dof mentality has made it into this game Clean up your mess. Yeah, you really do need to clean up around here. Uh huh. There we go. Okay. And where is that last piece of? Yeah. Some nice stocked cupboards here, so okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, closet. There we go. Yay, I found all the files. Okay. So determine a pattern to the killings. All right, so now we need to go and put that photo on that board. So there we go. Seek the laughing man written on the back. So, all right, yes, it could be. You, you think maybe if it said seek the laughing man that it could be connected to the laughing man killings. I just don't know. So, all right, now we've got to determine a pattern here. There must be a pattern. It's got to be. All right. Choose murders committed by the laughing man. All right. This is spraying mouth cut. Circle on floor. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, just put it together. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? Murders committed by the laughing man. Oh. Okay, so hold on. Let's look at our files here. Okay, so here, let's see, we got Vet, Zhang, Swan, Persimmon Field, Grip. Okay. So vet, swan, zang, field, grip. There we go. All right. Yes, you do. Okay. So let's get to bed before that moon comes out. Dear Dr. Hathaway, I've been trying to record my thoughts, like you suggested. Easier this way, I guess. I want to get better, stop feeling this way. So I took your advice, and I'm working on something. They're calling it the Laughing Man Murders. It's this big puzzle, but I think I just found an important piece. Nice. Okay, now I think we're in I think we're in her dreams. Whoa, everything's so trippy. Oh, this is 1989 all over again. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Wow. Now I, I will caution, you know, obviously, you know, it does have free movement, not just free, not free turning, but something like this, if you don't have your VR legs, it could get to you, um, so just, just be warned, okay, loving this old school point and click adventure vibe, <laughs> cigarette machine, wow, I want to talk about retro 
I stopped smoking many, 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 many years ago. So, don't, don't smoke, kids. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing good comes from, comes from it. Alright. Oh, who's crying? Whoa! Hey now! Oh, now I got like some sort of devil face. Sweet. Man, that effect is so trippy. There's a blob. What is this blob coming at me? No, no, I can't. I can't get away. There, there's nowhere for me to run, sir. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, man. Dead end. All right. So there it is. I died. Uh, and man, I got to tell you, it, it is definitely more of a psychological horror. It's not a jump scary thing. Everything's kind of building. I, I know we really can't see a lot in the little, you know, limited 10, 15 minutes that we're going to play the game on these reviews. But um, I will continue to check this one out because I got to tell you, so far what I've seen, I like. And uh, if you want to check this out, I am going to leave links for everything that you need in the description. But I think that's it guys i think i am done for the day um i'll see you in the next one this is don signing off